I'm a simple man. I spent my days wishing for a bigger, girthier, veinier chest. The problem is that here in Germany, the gyms are still closed. And I'm losing gains. Bruh. This video is neither meant to make fun of the victims of Rona nor of the people who suffer from the restrictions. I'm just a simple gym rat that is losing neck mass. Zoxo. I already built a squat rack in another video, and finally I realized it's about time to also build a couple dumbbells. So I found this very nice video on YouTube, the king of social media. Freak off TikTok. I also enjoy TikTok though, gotta admit. Who's it gonna be? <laughs> And in this video, this absolute mad lad created, in my opinion, very nice dumbbells using his 3D printer. Link to the video in the description. But to be honest, the kind of dumbbells from this video seem a little lightweight for these kind of milkers. <laughs> Fucking douchebag. So I'm gonna try to build dumbbells basically the same way as this absolute legend did, but just a little bit bigger. So let's begin with the slightly scientific part of this video. You and I, hold up, you and I, we're not so different. Both of us have spent more time in the school of steel than in actual school. But maybe you remember this concept of density. But just in case all your school memories have been erased by thoughts of... <laughs> Kyriakos Grizzly. Let me quickly give you a brief summary of what density is. Density was, just as basically everything modern society is based upon, invented by the Greeks. While us Germans were still living in grass huts, throwing feces at each other, the Greeks already had a highly developed society, with plenty of very great and surprisingly swole physicists. But the greatest scientist of all of them was, of course, Archichades. To this day, Archichades remains the only person ever being able to lateral race two adult Komodo dragons. So one day when Archie Chalice came home, after a long day of incline bench pressing, he jumped into his completely filled up bathtub, realized that his massive body was causing a flood, and that's when he discovered density. Density, which has this symbol, is a substance's mass per unit volume. But Freezy, why do you tell us all this boring 7th grade physics stuff? Because you need this information for scaling your dumbbells. You see, I want to build 35 kilogram dumbbells. So now we can use the density of concrete, which is 2, to scale the dumbbells. Which equates to 17.5 liters for one dumbbell. Which is huge! Hella big. Almost two of these buckets. Bruh. Crazy, That's far too big. Because if there's one thing more cringy than posting topless workout pictures on your Instagram, it's posting shirtless workout pictures flapping around trash can sized concrete dumbbells. Unacceptable! <laughs> so I need to get these things smaller. But of course, there's a problem. Junge, leck mich am But there's a way around this using a super high density substitute. Which could be stones. What density do stones have? Nani? Do I look like a freaking archaeologist? No, archaeologists have much bigger forearms. So I need to find it out myself. Uh. So here I am measuring and calculating the density of stones. It's 2.5. 2.5 is far too low, so we need something else. I'm gonna use iron. Minus one, that's free quick mess. Sexy Squidward stature. Check out my last video at the hardware store. In Germany we don't say, this is gonna be slightly unpleasant. In Germany we say, Walla Habibi. Jetzt wird's richtig beschissen. Alter! Was für eine Scheiße! Oh, Freunde! So I have the concrete, I have the metal pieces. I will print the dumbbell shells. So the only thing that's left is the handle. I stare! They can only lower. So my homie said he would give me a proper steel pipe. If only I'm gonna help him Hello. carry some furniture. This beauty. Check this out. 
2200 Deutsche Mark, built in 1962. This is some history, eh? <laughs> Nice. And here there are two deers right next to the street inside this village. Alles okay, Hase? You good, girl? Don't want to bother you. Anyways, I'm 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 out of here. No worries. She just doesn't care. <laughs> Let me quickly prepare the steel bars. In the video I mentioned in the beginning, this homie put a couple of bolts into the pipes so the concrete has a firm grip. But since I'm using these like solid, freaking heavy metal bars, drilling holes through these things would have put me in a world of pain. Almighty. Baba boy. So I decided to simply cut a couple wedges into the bar so the concrete can firmly grip onto this bad boy. I also found these things. I'm gonna use them as those high density inserts I told you about. I designed the dumbbells with the Fusion 360 CAD software, but you can take any kind of CAD software because this whole thing consists out of super basic shapes. Check this homie out. It's our boy. He's keeping this aquarium nice and tidy. <laughs> Excellent worker. I'll be printing the first pair of dumbbells in this absolutely beautiful silk purple filament. This is not what I should be doing. You see, this filament is called PLA. It's a very common material for these kind of printers. It looks absolutely beautiful and it's pretty strong. But it is quite brittle. So what I should be using is this kind of material, which is called TPU. This is basically like rubber. You can bend it and it doesn't break. So it comes much closer to what you know out of the gym. They look beautiful. Now for the material I think I should be using in the first place. So this turns out to be pretty annoying. Do you see this? And this? This is what's called being a freaking failure. So weak. But I think I found the way. I'll take one of the standard 3D printer nozzles and then I'm gonna increase the nozzle diameter. This will allow me to print one thick single wall all the way up to the top. Yo Rona, take this you little bitch. And now, I let those two beauties dry for a couple days. Before I show you the dumbbells in action... Let me out! Second green screen, epic. I weighed these dumbbells and they came in at round about 34 kg. 33.7. I was going for 35, but honestly, 34 is still a success. Even gym weights, they weigh like plus minus 200 gram. So now let me show you the dumbbells. I'm here. And who are you? I am Freezy and Hayes, the 11,530,000 biggest YouTuber. Lol, freaking nobody. Uh, no need to get mean. And I'm here to destroy you. <laughs> Pathetic. What are you and nobody wants to do against me? I'm going to supply humanity with the greatest pair of DIY dumbbells the world has ever seen. But you can't do that. You're in nothing. You even failed your first fluid dynamics exam. Watch me. Father, forgive me for these gains I'm about to receive. And I want to thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. I would very much appreciate it. So far I've used these dumbbells on two chest days and I really enjoy it. Actually it works really well. The thing is they are pretty massive. So if you go higher than like 35 kilogram, I think you really need to increase the percentage of iron within the dumbbells. Otherwise they simply get too big. Of course you don't need the 3D printer to build dumbbells like this. You can also use a bucket or make a mold out of anything else, out of wood for example. But if you plan on printing your molds, definitely as expected, 
use TPU. I use the pink one because I wanted to have a sick looking dumbbell for the thumbnail. Pathetic little cloud chaser. But this material, the PLA, is already starting to break down. I want to thank you for watching. Keep on gaining. And I'll see you next time. Father, forgive me for these gains I'm about to receive! <laughs>